I'll give a very brief for, uh, you know view of how MBA journey works like. So right from the moment you decide to give CAT till the time you get into the college, that entire period is a period full of hustle. I mean, because I was working, so I was handling both my work and my studying. And one issue that I had that I really liked what I was doing. So there okay. were days when I was in a bit of tussle that, you know, should I stay back and continue working or should I go back because I had to study for CAT as well, right? So that was that tussle throughout the period. And one, uh, you know, if I had to give a advice to everybody, please go to the interviews with a very open mind. See, you cannot prepare 100% for the interviews because you don't know who your panelist will be. So you have to go with that mind, ki, you know, there's a chance that they might ask something that you don't know. It's okay. Hello everyone. Today we have with us Rishi. He scored 97.98 percentile in CAT 2022 and he has received calls from many IIMs and also SPJMR Mumbai and he converted SPJMR Mumbai. Currently, he is a working professional. Coming to his educational background, he has pursued undergraduation in BFM from NM College, Mumbai and today he is with us to share his CAT preparation journey and also he is going to talk about his IIM interview experiences as well as SPJMR interview experience. So, hello Rishi, welcome to Cracko interview series and a very big congratulations on cracking the cat and also uh, converting SPJ. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. I mean, Cracko has helped a lot. So, yeah, thank you for that. All right. So, yeah, firstly, can you uh, walk us through your MBA preparation journey when you started this whole journey and uh, how you prepared for CAT, uh, CAT exam Correct. and you said you started something around June, right? You started off with the syllabus and then mocks or you uh, you directly started off with mocks. So, how, how did you go about it? So, I started in uh, May to June and I had taken Krakus online lectures. Right. So, uh, what because from what I've heard, I think coins was something that non-commerce students really, you know, we have lost that touch. So I started with cons and then accordingly I followed on with the other subjects. I think what uh, was the most important thing that I did was I started giving mocks earlier on only. Okay. So one thing that I would suggest is that don't go by the marks that you score early on because those marks will not be a reflective of how you will score later on because as in when you give mocks, as in when you study more, your mocks marks will improve. Just give the mocks to get an idea of how the exam is, how you need to be prepared, how, how you need to be patient enough. I think what one of the mistakes that I was doing in mocks earlier was that because they're sectional, right? Let's say my VARC went well. So they, there would be an overconfidence that you do sleep in. And you look at VARC, right. VILR. That is a mistake that you should not do. Specifically, when you give mocks, think of mocks as your D-Day exam. Try to give it during the same size, uh, time slot as the exam. Right. It will help you a lot because by the time you reach CAT, you should ideally be having given 20 to 30 mocks. So CAT should ideally be one more mock for you. Again, that is easier said than done because the entire environment is very yeah. different when you give an example versus when you give it at home. But uh, again, coming back to my preparation, I think the biggest differentiator for me when I took Kraku was that the mocks that they've given and the interface that Kraku offers. So I had tried mocks, you know, there are free mocks with other institutes as well. But the interface that Kraku offered was very simple for me to understand and scroll through. Even the, you know, the answers to the questions that I did not attempt or was wrong were very elaborate and very easy to access. Right. I think I want to specially mention the kind of DI lectures that I watched with Maruti sir and the corn lectures that Sally ma'am, uh, you know, gave us. I think they were amazing. I think for DI, Kraku is like number one. There's no second in DI because the level of uh, sets that I had in DI through Kraku were... Yeah, the were LRBA amazing. section. Absolutely. They were the best in my opinion. So for DI, though, I, for sure short, I would suggest to go for Kraku. For VRC and Quant, again, VRC is something that, you know, is very practice oriented. So the more right. you practice, apart from Kraku also, the more it will help. For Quant, what Sally Ma'am really does and the biggest beneficiary is that she explains the very basic of it, right? One thing that Kraku really does is that it teaches you to how to learn the fundamentals strong, right? The moment your fundamentals are strong, questions, see, CAT, they will not ask you see the formula based questions, right? Right, right. Take the fundamentals. And right from the outset, Sayali Ma'am, I remember she used to tell this 10 times in the video that keep your fundamentals correct, understand that, and then CAT may, even if the question comes ekdami ajeeb se, you will still be able to answer because your fundamentals are there. So I think that is where Kraku really helped me. And for me, because online lectures was a new thing, it Kraku in terms of the software, the interface, and the lectures right. and the problem solving, it was really helpful. Right. And I had to give a, you know, uh, honest opinion, you should give mocks and sections a lot. 
I mean, I gave all mocks and sectionals that Praku had given me. They were sufficient. A lot of people say that you, you should give 100 mocks. Again, I do not, I do not disagree with that. If you have the time, please do give that many mocks. But if you can take one full mock set, I think I had given 20, 25, 30 mocks. And I think I had given around 20 sectionals for each uh, DIA. They were really one, sufficient. Yeah. But just do one thing. Just don't give mocks. Ki, tumne mock diya, tumne chhod diya. Please analyze your mocks. Mm. Because that is only when you will realize ki, chahe, tum yara ye mistakes hai, toh, then you can gradually improve. So make sure when you give your mocks. So in Kraku, they give you that entire array ki from, from your exam 1 to exam 30. How was your marks? Right. And your percentile. So keep a track. See how you are doing. And then gradually try to improve. Just don't give mocks for the sake of it. You know, you give 20 mocks, but give it in a way that you learn from your mistakes and you improve. So ideally, by the time the exam comes across, your percentiles are nearby what you're expecting. Again, mocks and exams are very two different ball game. I think in the exam hall, the entire center, the kind of people, then the space that you right. have, that really creates a lot of difference. I tell you, crack. Entire cat is about the D day. I mean, if I had to put it in a very simple word, how you sure. do in the D day will really make the difference. I'll just give you a small example. Sure. My strong side was cons. Okay. So I had done cons very well, and DI was something that I was really worried about. I mean, I thought that DI may because DI may ideally two sets you should do to get a 90 95 percent right plus. So I was really worried about DI. I was not worried about cons. But I'll tell you what happened. I my VARC went well. My DI went. I'll I'll tell you much better than expected. So I ended up okay. attempting twelve questions. Which is beyond what I used to give in my mocks as well. So I was very happy that DI and my VRC went well. Right. But for my surprise, Quant was the toughest. Right. So okay. by mocks, I was scoring the highest in Quants and somewhere in the middle in DI. But in my actual CAT also, I scored 98.4 in DI and I scored 94 in maths. Quants. Okay. Right. So what? So right. what we cannot expect what ha yeah, anything to happen on the exam. Exactly. Right? So that is something that I would give out to every person, even in the interview. You can give mock interviews, they can go amazingly well. And it's possible on the D-Day, you just end up doing something not that great, right? right. So be okay with that, accept that because that is the reality. It's a D-Day exam. You have to be very focused. Don't get overconfident and just be calm. I think being calm and patient is very important in that. And I think that can make the biggest of differences for any aspirant in my opinion. Brilliant. So that's some very good advice, very valuable insights on uh, how to uh, prepare for CAD and also how to be mentally prepared for CAD and uh, exam day and what follows after the interviews and stuff. All right. So you took CAD while you were working, right? Uh, how did you manage work and CAD preparation? Because I think it must be quite a hectic job that you're working and so how did you manage your uh, CAD prep and work? Yeah, so I had just joined, I saw this was my first job. So obviously I had to perform well in that also. So there was always that tussle, like I mentioned that there's a tussle between work and your cat, right? So what right. I would suggest for any working professional is that get in tune with the cat syllabus, start liking it. Because if you keep that, you know, attitude that ki nahi, maza nahi hai, to fir aap handle nahi kar wo dono saath mein. So saath, what happened with me initially was I was enjoying my work because I've done FRM. So risk was something that I really liked. So when I was working in this, I was liking what I do. But initially kya ho tha? I was focusing more on work and less on cat. As the D day, as the months start going out, right. so I had this uh, town countdown on my phone, which used to tell me the number of days left. So that used to start creating a pressure inside pressure on me. Ki, bhai, abhi main, I have to start getting on cat. So I realized ki I was not liking what I was studying, but then okay. I decided ki, you know there are certain topics that I like. So if I focus more on that, because see, cat is not about doing the hundred percent syllabus. If you when, whenever you start your preparation, right. whichever course or prep help you take, you'll understand that. There are a few topics that are fundamental. If you do that well, then you can score a lot of, you can score good marks, right? CAT is not about scoring 100 out of 100. It's about scoring 50 out of 100. Getting that 50 correct is what matters, right? right. So when you're a working professional, it's important that you like the syllabus that you're doing because that is when you would want to study more and you know, you want to take out time from your work and you have to be motivated for CAT. I think if, uh, if you're not motivated enough to do CAT, then I think, wo, Wo issue between work and uh, education. So you have to be very clear that I MBA karna hi karna hai. So I will have to take out time to study for CAT. And please make a timetable, I think. So what I used to do, I'll give you my personal uh, experience. Sure, so yeah. my office starts at 10 and it's ended at 6.37. So I used to come back by 8 o'clock and I used to have my lunch or so dinner. 
and used to spend half an hour and used to sleep early. So I used to sleep by 9 30, 10, and used to wake up at 4 and 5 in the morning. Okay. And I used to do 3 to 4 hours or 3 to 2, 2 to 3 hours per weekdays. And on weekends, I would extend to 5 to 6 or 7 hours. This is my own timetable. Right. So that is how I would I did because I was comfortable with that. So I compromised on my leisure activities because that is something that you have to do. Right. So for any working professional, please yeah. be clear on the timetable. Your motor for doing CAT. And third is please like what you study. It's very important because motivation or motivation it's in my opinion, it will be difficult to crack CAT. Moving on to your uh, MBA interviews. So so you have received calls from IM Lucknow and many other IMs and also SPJMR and you converted it as well. So can you tell us how did the interviews go? How did you prepare for these interviews? And uh, can you also briefly discuss about how uh, the interviews went? Yeah. See, preparing for the interviews, one thing, anything can come. So just read whatever you can. I think I read a lot. So I, I like reading about books and about other stuff. So that really helped. In the interview, please be very thorough about your cats and your work ex. So what you do, what right. you are, please be very thorough because they expect you to be very clear about those concepts. So if somebody, let's say you're a finance guy and the professor in front of you is also a finance guy, then he will go into core finance because he expects you to know that. Right. So you should be thoroughly prepared with the concepts that you studied. It's okay if you don't know something. It's it's very okay to be okay, to tell you, I don't know that. It's okay. But try to cover at least whatever was on your cards and whatever you do, you should be very clear on that. Uh, second, interviews. So like I mentioned, all interviews are different. Yeah, SPJN yeah. is the most different, I would say. SPJN has a group interview. So you're like four or five people sitting together and they'll do go one by one and ask you questions. In SPJN, I'll tell you, in SPJN, it's a profile-based college, right? So you choose your specialization. So I chose finance and I so my questions were around my profile. Why SPJN and all of that. So read about SPJN. Read, for that fact, read about any college that you apply for. See, they want you to be prepared. They want you to be clear of why you want to join that college. Not just because they will give you good packages. Don't talk about packages at all. But be clear about why SPJ and why I am Indore, why I am Lucknow. Because right. these colleges each have a special, you know, uh, element to them. Be very clear about that because they might ask you ki why. If let's say in my case, I had a lot of calls. I had Lucknow, Kohiko, Indore, SPJ. So they asked me in Lucknow. Also, they had asked me ki why Lucknow, why not SPJ. And so they to even ask ki SPJ has better packages. They would mm -hmm. try to entice you. But right. you need to be clear on the answers. You know, you know what, Lucknow, this is the parameters why I want to go for Lucknow. This is the parameters why SPJ. Right. And be honest, please don't go to IM, sub, sub, a mini IM and say, ki, if you have IM Ahmedabad ka call, don't say, ki, I will go for this if I get a call and not IM Ahmedabad. Be a bit honest there. They also know the reality. They also want to see the reality. So don't be very upfront, ki, nahi, nahi, main to IM Ahmedabad hi jaunga, but give a very thought out answer, a very, you know, what you call diplomatic answer. Right. But don't lie on their face. They know that if you have to go to Ahmedabad, you will go to Ahmedabad. Don't do that. I have tried one place, but they said, okay, you will leave Lucknow and go here. So then I got it. So my mistake right. and delay, don't do that. Right. And interviews, like I mentioned, be calm and uh, just enjoy the interview. I mean, I was lucky enough to get professors who really knew about my profile and they really asked me about things I knew. So try to talk about that. Be okay with the fact that they can interrupt you anywhere. So it's possible that you know you prepared your I know uh, tell me about yourself like ki maine best cheese bana di thi five minutes mein. Lekin unne two minutes mein apne bola ki maine NMC kiya hai and unko NMC karne ko kuch pata hai. Right. Bol but then you will not get the opportunity. Right. Don't right. Be, be very clear sir. Before I wrap up, be very clear. Tell me about yourself is the way you drive the interview. Correct. And tell me about yourself if you end up telling a lie and if they catch that, let's say you talk about I read about books and right. if let's say the guy in the panel is a person who reads books. Right. But for sure, go into the favorite book, the writer and uh, the author. And if they catch you there, see, tell me about yourself is the first part of the interview. Correct. First impression right. is the last right. impression. So if you don't do well there, then the interview will not make any sense at all. So tell me about yourself. Please be clear of whatever you're saying. Please be very clear about the counter questions that can come. Last, I'll just give you one example that sure, I, sure. Yeah. I used to listen to a podcast every day. And I didn't thought ki they can ask me ki aaj ka podcast kya tha. So in one of my interviews, they asked me, you listen to podcast, which podcast? I told them this podcast. They told me, what was the latest episode that you read about? So it was about farm laws. So I told them about farm laws, ki, what the podcast talked about. So then they asked me what farm laws may specifically kya tha. Now what podcast, mein, they didn't explain that. But because I had mentioned farm laws, they asked me on that. So just remember, counter question, ka bhi counter question. Mm, so obviously, right, you right. go to the Z, ki aap enter karo. 
but wherever you can try to be very clear on the tell me about yourself ka points because that they will pick the hooks give them the hooks they will pick it you can right. give the bait you have to do that you know with more right. even and keep a bait dena zaruri hai ki unko pata to chale ki right for them to pick up yeah correct so yeah that is all i mean just be patient be calm be confident be confident that is what matters the most so actually i'll i'll give a very brief uh, you know view of how mb journey works like so people generally think that mb journey sure. you know ends at cat but i'll tell you right from the moment you decide to give cat till the time you get into the college that entire period is a period full of hustle i mean so i started my cat during uh, may to june i think somewhere in the middle okay. and because i was working so i was handling both my work and my studying and one issue that i had that i really liked what i was doing so there okay. were days when i was in a bit of tussle that you know should i stay back and continue working or should i go back because i had to study for cat as well right so that was that tussle throughout the period so when i was saying right from my the time i decided to do cat till the time i gave cat the period was full of you know hustles between work and studies post cat the forms start coming in right so you right. you have spj and other colleges others will apply now those forms also required a lot of you know uh, brainstorming like these forms are not easy ki aapko sirf name and ye dalna you have to answer a lot of questions right and even that comes with its own set of pressures now for me i remember the spj and form the spj and form by far is one of the most elaborate forms that i filled so writing filling that form took me a week or more because i was uh, doing a part and then i was going back for work and something of that sort so that was a struggle yeah form filling is a very important part of spj mr especially absolutely i think uh, the, if you really want to get into spj one of the biggest things that you need to clear is your form filling because okay. the form is very elaborate it covers almost everything about you so that is something that every aspirant who wants to get into spj needs to give a lot of importance and time to specifically now post cat when the results started coming out that is also an intense period because that is when you get to know ki which all calls will be you know will be coming out for you so this year i scored like i scored 73 74 and when this, then the rough marks had come out i was not expecting it to be around 98 so i was kind of bit disheartened you know ki maybe i am not sure if i get the bed colleges right but to my luck i think cat was too tough this year so i ended up scoring 98 so even that period between the rough scores till the actual percentile comes in that right. is also a period that you know a cat aspirant needs to be very calm because you can't lose faith just by looking at your rough scores as in as it happened in my case that the cat right. percentile was much higher than i expected now post the cat percentile comes out your colleges start coming out right the lists start coming out and you start getting your interview dates you would assume ki chalo ab to percentage bhi aa gaya to college ho but that is not the case at all because all the colleges right. give you different dates different timings and every interview in itself is different because some colleges take gd some have vat some don't right. have that Right. SPJ as a group interview, so right. these are all different experiences that you need to go through in a period of two months. Correct. So I remember when the interview calls started coming out, I had thought that okay, I have ten ten days' gap, so I can prepare very well. But the moment you get into the interview phase, the these ten days will go like a in a in a you know yes a, yeah they will go so fast you will not even realize that your some interviews have been. And one uh, you know if I had to give a uh, advice to everybody. please go into the interviews with a very open mind see you cannot prepare 100% for the interviews because you don't know who your panelist will be so you have to go with that mind ki you know there's a chance that they might ask something that you don't know it's okay you have to accept that you don't know let's not try to lie about stuff because they are very smart enough to catch that don't do that in my opinion but be very open be confident because that is what they are looking for so i'll tell you specifically my first interview was i am lucknow okay and my interview panelist they were friends i'm assuming they were they were laughing they were having fun during the interview so i answered all the questions but they try, they were they were laughing and they were enjoying so i was also enjoying with them but then you know there's yeah. a possibility that you can lose your patience you ki are they laughing on your answers or are they just enjoying right so right. these kind of experiences throughout interview so all my interview experiences are very different i mean if i had the time i could elaborate on the same but i just want to advise that all colleges have different aspects to them if you look at i am indore they are more academic oriented so right. you look at the weightages that different colleges give you right. will get an idea of how you have to prepare for the interviews as well like few colleges also gave us a prep prep brochure also so you can also go through that when you prep for the interview so that is all about cat i mean i will tell you cat is a struggle right on the moment you start to you decide to give cat till the time you get into the college in the two years out of it 
राइट सो पीरियड दैट यू नो कि अब तो सिर्फ पढ़ना है अभी एग्जाम हो गया अब इंटरव्यू आगे नहीं इट्स अ स्ट्रगल एंड इट्स अ स्ट्रगल दैट यू हैव टू एंजॉय बिकॉज़ द ओनली व्हेन यू एंजॉय इट यू विल लव व्हाट कम्स आफ्टर इट राइट सो दैट इज माय यू नो परफेक्ट एडवाइस इफ आई कुड गिव टू एनी एस्पिरेंट डोंट बी वरीड अलॉट इट्स अ लॉट अबाउट कीपिंग योर काम and it's about how you do on the d day even in the interviews i remember i had prepared a lot for a few questions they didn't come out something up right. completely random came out so right. i was a bit disheartened but that is what cat does to you and mb colleges does to you it's unpredictable but you have to give your best you have to give your best in the moment and that is what really matters in my opinion excellent that is wonderful thank you so much rishi you gave some very useful tips for the aspirants and it will definitely help a uh, many uh, mba aspirants who are watching this and all the mba aspirants so thank you so much and all the very best for your uh, mba journey thank you thank you so much